third. It's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third. And as always, I have my lovely co-hosts with the most by my side, Miss Reese PC, the one and only. Hey, y'all. And we thank y'all for tuning in and turning up for another dope episode of This, That, and the Third, the lifestyle show that gives you life. Literally. Literally. Now, we're going to kick off the show in the best fashion we know how. First and foremost, by shouting out our sponsors, Twin Media Group and Freelance Academy. And our title sponsor for this month is none other than Absolute Athletics, also known as A Square. Now, they are one of the premier flag foot co ed flag football leagues on Chicago South Side and ultimately citywide. And they also have a women's league that's going to be uh, coming up that you'll hear a little bit more about later in the show. But let's jump into our first topic. Is that cool? Sure. All right, so leading off today's show is none other than entertainment. <laughs> and in entertainment, man, what's the first headline we're going to talk about? So uh, DJ Cali is uninspired. Another one. Exactly. Another he's one. Uninspired. What do you mean he's uninspired? What does that even mean? He's not doing music anymore? Thicka, thicka. Uh, I made love oh, okay. um, <laughs> to my lady uh, on a private island, jumped off the jet skis. You know what I'm saying? It was just a private island. I had to put that work in, let her know, don't ever play yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's not eating the box. Whoa. <laughs> Like that five dollar fill up from KFC? He's not fucking with it. No, Negro. What box? What box do you speak of? Pocketbook, pocket box, the hot box. I don't twat? know whatever you want to call it. Can we twat? Can we throw twat in there? You lick booty? Hell no. Finger licking. You ain't never licked no. Nah, I can't, my boy. Come buddy. on, man. You an OG from the south. Nah, Come nah. On, listen, man. I just there's certain things I just don't do. You know what I'm saying? I believe. <laughs> I believe. You gotta understand. I believe a woman should um. Praise the man, you know, the king. You know, if you if you holding it down for the, for your woman, I feel like the woman should praise, and and the man should praise the queen. But you know, my way of praising is called <laughs> how was dinner? Um, you like the house you living in? You like all them clothes you getting? I'm taking care of your family. I'm taking care of my family. You know, putting in the work. So you say like, you don't go down? Do nah. You? <laughs> what do you mean he's not eating anybody? Isn't this nigga married? Yes. So what? what is the deal? So, okay, I saw a video of them Him like, working not out. Him not eating No. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> that's reverse porn. I wish, no. <laughs> of them, like, working out together. She okay. has so much aggression. I understand How, how does why. she look? I've never seen his wife. Um, well, she was working out, so she was like. No, nah, just in general, I'm saying, how does she look? Is she, uh, like, oh, she's bad? Or is she just like, oh, they've been together since their younger years? I want to say they've been together since they're young. Okay, so they're working now, and she said she's just aggressive. She's Layla yeah, Ali on the bag. Yeah. What type of workout they was doing? They were boxing. Yeah. They were boxing. But basically, he was on uh, The Breakfast Club, and he said he feels like a man should be treated like a king. I agree. And, uh, yeah, but he's never went down on anybody, and he doesn't plan on anything soon. This is my thing. Well, let me tell you what he said, okay. though. He said, he said. <laughs> Please, let me talk. It was something to the effect of uh, Charlemagne was like, well, she does you. Don't you think you should reciprocate? Right, the right, pleasure, right, right, blah, right. Blah, blah, blah. He That's was a like, um, no, she should uh, enjoy the house she lives in. And oh. Enjoy oh. all the, the luxuries. Yeah, the lap of she luxury. <laughs> she needs to eat this lap of luxury. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Now, this is my thing. I totally agree with what he's saying in terms of general box eating, but your wife, bro? Like, I think what, if you're going to eat. General box eating. Remember, we were talking about the ass eating movement that seemingly has yeah. risen up from an, <laughs> the underworld, and apparently everybody's eating ass these days except yours truly, right? <laughs> I don't agree with massive ass eating or box indulgences. It's not, it's not massive, but if, if you, you eat everyone's ass that you have sex with, you're nasty. To me. <laughs> to me. And I think the same thing goes for the box. But if it's your wife, I totally agree okay, with okay. eating. Eat her. Devour no, her. No, we'll get that. Devour okay. her. So you're saying if you're in a relationship with somebody, you're not eating the box? No, I'm saying we often have relations. We often have relations with people we're not in relationships with. I'm not eating that box. I'm not eating that <laughs> nightly box. You know what I'm saying? I'm but just not eating are, that one-time box. Are you receiving treatment? I'm probably going to get, but it's it's different. It's not. It's, this is a double standard when it comes to oral sex. Not Would here. you agree? Girls give up throat rather easily. That's their problem. That's not their problem. That's their prerogative. <laughs> that is a choice. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a choice. Four hundred years well, adult. They, they it's should, a choice. They should choose. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with giving it, right? Mm -hmm. But I think men need to. I'm not even gonna say that because there are grown men that have no problem eating the box. Hey, grown men. So. But who's your dentist? <laughs> like, what is your dentist saying about that canker sore sitting round about your tonsil? No, let's not go there because you can get the same sore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three say, three say, my nigga. But I'm just saying, I think DJ Khaled should be in those. Yeah, he's married. He should, he should no be. Anybody that's him. married, like, that's, I, it's kind of unfair. It's and it's selfish. even selfish. It's kind of selfish. I know a lot about that. And it's one of the <laughs> things where if you're getting it, it'd be one thing if they was just, like, both not into it. Right. But no, or, he's, he's like, I'm getting it. Yeah. This is what I expect. Of course, expect. I'm getting I'm a king. Yeah, Eat I Eat this lap it. of luxury. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would say the younger me agreed with him, but, like, the now me and probably the future me kind of sees things a little bit more your way. Just on some grown man shit. Yeah. But, again, that cutoff is the one-night stand yeah, or the no, flings. Not you can't do that. But when it's a relationship, eat away. Eat up. <laughs> <laughs> Get your bib from Two Fish and have at it. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Anything else going on with Cali? Do you want to talk about no, no new music? No money. new music. No. No. Like that's no. just uh. No pussy thoughts. You know, thoughts. His, the beginning of all his songs. You know, you the best. Be encouraged, yeah. man. Go eat the box. How go about that? Box. Try that one. Have a box. Yeah. Five dollar fill up. Move all on. right, so let's talk about man. Our man, this dude is like the score of this, that, and the third for a reason because he provides something musically, artistically, not just musically, yeah. artistically that not a lot can offer. Who am I talking about? Childish Gambino. Stay woke. Danny Glover. Daniel, the manual. Have you seen the, the, the post that's like the only Donald we honor is Glover? No. It's like a shot at Trump, but it's a, a mm -hmm. boast to uh, uh, Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover. So what yep. just dropped uh, this week, I believe, that has the whole world talking? It's called, uh, his new single is called This Is America. This is America. And Don't catch him slipping. So no. when I first saw it, I just saw him doing all these crazy dances. Why right? is he such a good dancer? I saw him doing the, the part when he was like, uh, and we pretty. Oh, or yeah. Damn, I'm so pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm, it was on mute. So yeah. I didn't hear anything. And I, I was getting disappointed. I was uh, like, what is he doing? So they got him. They got him. <laughs> no. But the no, joke was totally, on Totally, totally not what I expected. The video is dope. Dope, The dope. messaging. The subliminals, the inferences, the fact, we were talking about this at the office just a minute ago, actually, because it's one of those things, like, this is the water cooler conversation of the week, at least. Mm -hmm. And I know it goes quick, because last week we were talking about J. Cole, Kanye, all these other things. Mm -hmm. Now it's just all about Childish Gambino. Yeah. But while we got this, you know, uh, wave, we're going to ride this motherfucker, yeah. right? Well, so we, we were talking about attention. Yeah, we were talking about it at the J.O., and they were just talking about the different images and symbols that were in, incorporated into the piece. Yeah. Somebody said, man, did you see the all black character riding the death horse, the all white horse? I said, I didn't see that. They said, did you see the man jump off the cliff, off the ledge of the banister or whatever and pretty much commit suicide? No, I didn't notice that. Did you see how they were taking better care of the guns than they were of the that. people? I peeped that. But that. I've only seen one third of what's actually in there because I'm so caught up in the dance moves. <laughs> yeah. I'm so caught up in this nigga's dance but moves. Wait, that's the point. That's the point. That and that's what makes it so And the kids are distracting from, from what's everything going on. Everything that's going on. Yeah, you in have the to world. watch it like over and over. Like I didn't 20 see times. That. There's so I have I still haven't seen it. We just talked about it, so I'm eager to see it again. Hmm. This is what lets you know this shit is cold. You know, I got the wang in the truck. So usually when I got the wang in the truck and I'm beating down the block, it's just I'm on I, Apple Music. Nigga, why am I riding and watching the video? <laughs> like, I don't even listen to the track. I watch the video while the music is playing. The like, it's just that, that good, dog. Yeah. This shit is cold. If you haven't seen it, man, This Is America by Childish Gambino. It's probably on your timeline yeah. right now. Over and over. Yeah. To go 
back to what you said was um, they had they start off shooting the black man. Man, Trayvon Martin's father? I heard that was Trayvon Martin's father. Oh, he, he had a mask. I thought it was white. He had a mask first. over his face. Yeah, so at Later first you could see him, and yeah. then you could see the mask, and then, So yeah. I didn't even pay attention to They said that's Trayvon Martin's was, daddy. Yeah. But then I know he was getting a lot of slack for the pose that he used when right. he... But that's a pose uh, from the Jim Crow style caricature. Yeah, like a, a, a Sambo type dude. Yeah, yeah, but see, not everybody would know. Because no no was from. just laughing at it like, yeah, he shot him standing like this. And I'm like, but that meant something, great. Girl. And, that, and yeah, not. <laughs> I see that. She was just. Shout out, no, no. Shout out, no, no. <laughs> go, go to the library, no, no, read. <laughs> But yeah, so it's it's everything has a symbol, and then when he shot all those church members, oh, and it was like blah, blah, blah. gave them niggas that Salem Baptist and then they moved trip, on. I and was just like, kept it moving. Yeah, that was and, crazy. And somebody was like, "Man, they took such good care of the weapon, and just left the dead bodies there." You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, it was another piece where he kind of flexed on them, yeah. and that was supposed to be symbolic to Richard Pryor standing in front of the American flag with the bird chest and the nappy mm. hair. But I don't know why Richard originally did, did that. It? So I don't really I get the connection of what he was. Uh, reenacting, but I don't know what Richard's position was, was back then when he originally did that. It's probably some fuck America shit, knowing yeah. Richard, but I, I can't speak to it. Then the the most powerful part was at the end when he's running for his freaking life. That looked like uh, birth of a nation a little bit. That looked like, but well, he was charging towards people. But yeah, he was running for his life on some. Mat. And did okay. you see the um, Uncle Uncle Ruckus character when he did the eyes like this? Like his eyes got real big. Yeah. That was from Boondocks. Yeah. That's the Uncle Ruckus character. Okay, I didn't. I know. I noticed he was making crazy faces. The craziest I didn't faces. understand why. Yeah, that's supposed to be Uncle Ruckus, who so you know is like the biggest cartoon sellout ever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Uncle, Uncle Ruck. Uncle Ruck, Ruck. Fuck you, Uncle Ruck. <laughs> we love you, Aaron Magruder. But, but if uh, you haven't seen it, like we said, go check it out. Um, please. This is America. Man, it's free. Yeah. It's free entertainment, man. <laughs> this is like somebody said in a post, they was like, I'm just so proud to be a part of this creative generation. It was yeah. like somebody like a Tyler, the creator, or Lil okay. Ray. it was somebody that's on okay. that was just so proud of what Child is Gambino represents, what they're, the moves they're making, respectively and collectively. It's just a good time to it's be fucking woke, dog, to really see what's up. After the whole Kanye piece. Like, ah, the yeah. timing. The timing is impeccable. Is, yeah. It's but this is, this is my thing, too. Like, how you was like, man, you know, on mute, I, I had a different expectation and feel and, and response. I didn't see it on mute, so I didn't share that experience. But it's just one of those things where dude does not disappoint. Like if no, he doesn't. Yeah, so I would have gave him the benefit of the doubt if I saw it on mute. Like, wait, let me take this off mute. See what he's talking about because Atlanta but I've never is so seen cold. A video. Yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm song. saying. Like, he's not that dude. Yeah. Because you know, a lot of people were kind of get, getting on him for having a white woman on his arm. He does. Baby mother of sorts. Yeah. And mm. how do you feel about that? Can you be pro-black and Date outside your race. Yeah, because you know I'm I'm open, so <laughs> I you know Come get I'm, it, I'm for my people. But right. that don't necessarily mean you have to date your people. And I did read that he was like the awkward nerdy black dude. I saw some posts like that. How too. many you sisters. know chicks were really How checking many for him? It's fucking with the I mean, weird black. At dude. the end of the day, you got to go for who goes for you. Right and. I think that anybody will mess with him now. Shorty been down with him since before yeah. that. And what does pro mean? If you're pro-black, what does pro mean? Professional black? <laughs> Provocative? Like, what does pro-black even mean these days? You for your people? For your people. So can you be for your people while and dating, dating other someone? cultures? I think so. I believe so, too. I actually know so. You know what I'm saying? No. But, yeah. I mean, not from personal experience, no. but I'm just saying <laughs> I, I know that you having your people, not, not saying that you hate other people, but you just love your people. Yeah. But we're all the same people at the end of the day. I, I, I can get into it. I can yeah, get into it. I, you know, but I, I don't want to go there. Right, no. But I'm just saying, <laughs> hats off to Donald Glover, a.k.a. Childish Gambino, yeah. Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover. And uh, y'all, stay woke. And know that this is America. And check out Atlanta. Please check out Atlanta. Did, have you been watching? I watched, the last episode I watched was the FUBU. Did you see FUBU? Yes. Oh, oh my God. I made the boys watch it. I was the FUBU king in high school. Not I only had that, all the FUBU. But the fact that in that episode, that's how blacks are. But did you peep the white boy? Yes. The white boy said, man, I wore said, man, this I think, shirt twice. I wore this shirt twice this week. Nobody's noticed. And that's what I pointed out to Nehemiah. You see how much emphasis we, we put, put on, on material materialism stuff yep. that we don't own. You know what I mean? 
I mean, FUBU was ours. It was, it was ours. ours. It was ours, it was but ours. at the end of the day, right. it ain't yours. It's not mine. It's not your name. It's my mind. Shout and, out, and, Damon. Opposed to other whites, mm -hmm. when they go to school, they don't care. They wake up, literally roll out of bed and throw on a t-shirt and, and some shorts and go. that is not the definition of, but that is part of freedom. Where you can just get up and go and not give a fuck because what, who am I trying to the prove? Impress. Who am I trying to impress? Who am I trying to prove anything to through my clothes? Now, I'm going to prove it through here and through my actions and sometimes my inactions. To the same kids who, when they found out that the other young man committed suicide because mm -hmm. of that, was laughing, didn't care. It didn't stop there their was day. There was no nothing. Remorse, recourse, no nothing. remorse, no nothing for this yeah. man that committed suicide. Had I guess his parents had recently been divorced. Divorced. And, and I he mean, had maybe, maybe on this the a real spoiler jersey. Alert. This is a spoiler alert. He did have on the, the real, real jersey. jersey. Because he could afford so, it. Yeah, it was just so deeply impactful to yeah. him because we, I, that's our identity. Like, if I'm not the cool kid with the fresh shit, who am I? Yep. And the white boy was like, I'm the white boy. Yeah. He's like, your shit looks fine to me, bro. Man, yeah. you're good. I would, <laughs> I would rock that shit every day if I was you. But then again, you know, and then his, it was so ironic that his mom grabbed him another one. Yes. Another one. What be wrong with these mamas? But see, she was an old school mom because she was going to make him wear a suit the next day. And he was like, yeah. mom's hot. Yeah. But my thing is, I think kids need to maybe speak up a little more with right. their parents or, or be able to have a conversation and say, hey, mom, mm, it, shirt's not cool. Yeah. I got picked on today. Yeah. I don't want to <laughs> wear it. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah. It's not going to go to waste. You can right. cut the grass you in know. it. But at the end of the day, I think that parents need to also stop projecting that I mean, I was having this conversation just last night. You either do things out of love or out of fear. And if you fear that, oh, and a black, a black man in America must have on a three-piece suit, suit yeah. and a cover bun and a vest to be respected, <laughs> it's like, no, we don't. No. We need to articulate ourselves well. We need to give good eye contact. We need to be prepared for the right. moment, yeah. and everything else works itself out. <laughs> Sometimes, and I've actually read articles on this, that well-dressed $500, $5,000 suit-ass dude looks like a clown in C-level meetings where they're like, we don't try that hard with our clothes. Yes, we have tailor-made suits and we have the band, but you're loud as fucking here, bro. That yeah. shit doesn't play in certain yeah. circles. So there's there's levels to this shit, yeah. and we got to be woke on that as well. So yep. what's going on with the um, hashtag mute R. Kelly so this movement? Is still Does it thing. continue? The saga yes. continues? Okay. Ava's still on his ass. No, it's not even her. Uh, okay, hey, so Ava. first, Lifetime has two movies coming out about him. One's a documentary, investigative type style over like what's going on. and then the American other, crime story? Yeah, but Ugh. about R. Kelly. And then the second one is just kind of the tales of these women. It's not good. Oh, it's not a good it doesn't story. seem flattering at all. At all. And so as I was listening to that, because I heard that on the Kendra G Spot, mm -hmm. right, on the radio. What's it called? Kendra G Spot. That's just a segment within the morning? Yes. Sure. Okay. Hey, Kendra. <laughs> I, ain't not, I don't listen to the radio. Obviously. Yeah, what the fuck is the radio? <laughs> Too much. Okay, so then I was scrolling on my timeline, and Megan Kelly, you know, she has a show mm -hmm. on, was it MB, NBC? ABC. Is this Channel 7? I was just guessing. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have cable. <laughs> not even basic. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I don't even know I'm who sorry. Megan Kelly is. So, Megan Kelly has two of the other alleged victims. Mm. Of Ara? Yes. Kitty Jones and Asante McGee both say they had relationships with R. Kelly. Asante says she dated him from 2014 to 2016 and lived in his home for a month. Kitty says she started dating the singer back in June 2011. She thought they were in love and in a monogamous relationship. She gave up her job as a DJ, says she moved into his Atlantic, Atlanta home in November 2011 and spent two years there. But Kitty says the relationship became violent within weeks of her arrival. I'm like, where did they come from? So get this. She said all his girlfriends, he put them on his phone plan, right, so that he could mm. see who they're talking to, so he could see what they're talking about, whether it's to their parents, to whoever. Mm. Big brother. Um, I had to... Wear sweatpants. I had to stand up when he would walk in a room. Um, I did have to be on his phone plan. I know that the savages did mention that. He would put a lot of his girlfriends on his phone plan so he can control, like, who you're talking to, 
how often you talk to your family, what you're texting, things like that. Is it then they had to ask per for permission to go to the bathroom. Um, you would have to send a text mes message to one of his runners, um, just asking, like, you know, if you can go to the restroom, and then they'll relay the information to him. Because you weren't, like, free to walk throughout the house. You had to ask permission to go use the bathroom? Yes. Yes. And, and he would use food, you, you claim, as a punishment. And, like, it was just permission to enter. All type of rules, and they had yeah. to call him daddy. We were required to call him daddy. Required to? Yes, he told us to call him daddy. You would address him as daddy. If you didn't, you were... Yeah, you would get in trouble if you didn't. Yeah, or slap. How many women... It All makes this me question... Their level of intellect and... And, and, sec and security, because... And security. Yeah. They're not, like, bad bitches. Like, what right. you would consider... Right. ...a popping-ass female. Mm -hmm. They're more popped-ass <laughs> females. But this is the thing, though. Like, that's the... I hate to say it this way, but the perfect target yeah. for somebody like this who... To a chick that isn't, uh, let's just say, eight or better in the world, yeah, is gonna get off on the fact that I'm she fucking R. with Kelly. R. Kelly, right? He's That's a me thing. He... That's a thing. Yeah, but... and and who who are we? This is just playing devil's yeah. advocate. Yeah. Who are we as a society to tell him to how to use his clout? No, I agree. How, how do we tell him you can't use your clout for that? These hopefully chicks are of age yeah. and consenting. Yeah. So now we're just mad because we can't do it? You know, I again, I kind of stay out of it. But it was nice to see I the women. I coochie colleges or whatever we call it. What do we call it? Coochie, coochie camps? I can don't <laughs> coochie camps. I mean, if you're going to stay there huh. and deal with, like the one girl think said. all celebrities unofficially have coochie camps? Some, uh, yeah. Junior colleges? <laughs> <laughs> like it's level to it, obviously. <laughs> Oh, man, R. Kelly's not married for a reason. Was his daughter speaking out about him recently? I don't know. I saw a headline. You know, I ain't going to read the article, but I saw a headline that said <laughs> R. Kelly's daughter is not with the shits. Well, we need no, to look I into that. I believe that. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. karma like a mod, G. So you do all this to all these other people's daughters that's and your thing. daughter. You know how we are with our daughters. Well, and she's not that. fucking with you, G. That, I would trade it off. You I would deal repent. With that. I would repent. And remember how I was saying... Oh, it doesn't really matter if concerts, you know, people stop fucking with because he can, can stream his music. Well, Spotify dropped his ass. Oh, and J. Cole said in his uh, <laughs> Takashi 69 disc that, man, keep touring. That's how we eat. If they start canceling your tours, your money will dry up like quickly. the Sahara Desert. Yeah. <laughs> Very quickly. Your shit's dry. Yeah. And so. R. Kelly has already been on like the decline for years. He's yeah. just, you know, like a Keith, he's the Keith Sweat yeah, of he our. Yeah, just shoot a yeah. single here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Future, don't know. Time's up, nigga. It might be. Fortunately. She yeah. still loves you. I like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about we got a new show, show alert? What's going on with Jada Pinkett uh, Smitty? Have you seen this? I haven't. What channel? Okay. What it it's on Facebook. Oh, I have Facebook. Now, actually, it's kind of like our setup, right? So. The whole show she is on. our swag? <laughs> yeah. Hey, the whole you, show. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. We love you, Jada. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Let me get that back. My bad. No, so the whole show is on Facebook Live. Okay. It's called Red Table Talk. And the first episode, um, basically at the table, it's Jada, her mom, and Willow. Oh, so her mom. Three, her mom is her gorgeous. Mom they call her baby Gammy. Mom. She Gammy? Looks Gammy. Oh. She Gammy. does not look like a Gammy, okay? Gammy. Oh, for grandma, yeah. I read an article on picking your grandma name, too. I've already funny. picked my Gammy. What's your grandma name? <laughs> what is your grandma name, G? That shit is funny as hell to me. Right, because they Grandmas only... Grandmas are just grandpa. Grandpa. No, I don't know. So what, is gra grandma. what is grandma? What's call your grandma name? G Mama. G Mama. Uh-huh. G Mama. And they call her Gammy. Mm hmm What's up with Gammy and Zeta's show? What they do? So, it's, you know, the three generations of mm -hmm. women. And they sit down and cover a topic. The first episode, um, she allowed her mom and daughter to see her sit down with Will's first wife. Oh. And talked about how they co-parent in that journey. This of just blending, the two of us, mama. Uh-huh. Of mm. blending their families. How is that working out? Well, obviously it's great now. But For her, though. I've never heard the other mom spoken of. How's she doing? You've never heard. You know what? She was on a reality show um, with Eddie Murphy's ex-wife. Mm. Remember that show? Nicole, I think it was called Hollywood Exes. Nicole Murphy? Yeah. It was called Slugger. Hollywood Exes. Okay. And um, she's 
married to a pastor now. Hmm. Shabop. No, I'm just saying, niggas be marrying pastors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Did you say Kelly Rowley, Ke not Kelly, Michelle, Michelle married yeah. a pastor? Uh, uh, somebody had to do it, I guess. Anyway. The doors of the church are open. But, um, yeah, you see her talk about their journey mm -hmm. and um, how that was. And so the clips that they showed, um, I ended up watching the whole thing, but the one particular clip that stood out was when Cherie said she called to talk to Trey mm -hmm. and Jada answered the phone um, and Cherie was saying that, Jada was like, no, you, your tone, mm, disrespectful. That energy. She hung up the phone. That energy is not allowed via telecom. And she said when she called her back, uh, she was like, bitch, you living in the house I picked out. And, and she said that to Jada? <laughs> yeah, and guess what Jada's response was? It's All mine that now. Maybelline, huh? Mm -hmm, it's mine now. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, they were kind of reminiscing on things Damn, of the past. Damn, that friction. Yeah, yeah, but how they got to where they are now. Right. I mean, they talked about having to deal with outside, you know, other family members. Like, well, why y'all got to be together? Why y'all trying yeah. to blend? And Because at that time, blending families was new. Yeah. You know, it was yeah. like once you divorce, you go your way, you get that Christmas, yeah. I get this Christmas. Yeah. And they didn't try to, they didn't do it that way. Right. They wanted to blend to kind of keep everybody together. It takes intentionality is what I'm, what I'm learning, man. Well, and that's what she was saying. A lot of times um, her advice to other moms or women who are maybe going through that now mm -hmm. was to understand that as a mom, your position can never be replaced. Right. Like you are solid. Yeah, you and your so bag. So it don't matter who comes around and who comes in. Just look at that as a bonus mom, a bonus dad, and somebody extra to love on you, but never feel like your position is threatened. And that's easier said than done. No, it is. Because a lot of times, yeah, it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. Yeah. And just being fully transparent, like I felt some type of way having a nigga around my kids that I especially don't know. It's like, eh, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's one of the things. But you got to realize, like, your, your biggest fear is that you might be replaced or yeah. they might not look at you because of the um, – limited interaction with you yeah. that they might look at you different like man you're not my dad you're a weekend father blah 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 but as i'm learning that's not it, the case and, you, and when you when you get out of your feelings. own way and out your feelings you can still level up as a father level up as a mom even you know some moms don't have their children but it's uh irreplaceable of uh, the bond that you have yeah. because they are you yeah yeah it, it will not be replaced so be easy yeah so it was a really good talk you got to really kind of know her more maybe if you didn't catch her on the reality show right. you got to learn more about her but gammy this oh no, Sheree, Sheree. the ex-wife okay. yep but this show so it's every week she'll okay. have different topics and they'll be talking about different things and it's on facebook okay well invite us on jada j-a-d-a -A. got drama with the feds in the d-a all right uh last but not least in entertainment <laughs> what's going on with an annual met gala did you see it i saw j-lo i definitely saw cardi and uh, Nikki squared off. I know they tried to make it seem like, oh, this is a friendly interaction. It didn't look very okay, friendly so to me. Okay, it was. I saw 2 chains. I didn't see 2 chains. He proposed on the steps. He re-proposed. Re-proposed? What do you mean he re five years. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's a spotlight whore. I thought this was a nope. new proposal. He's renewing his wedding vows. This nigga, he got me. Yeah. <laughs> he got me. I'm going to take my slow clap back, nigga. Fuck you too, James. Yeah, he remarried. Okay. So Congratulations, Nick. With Cardi and Nikki, uh, hey, Cardi up? actually did say that they had a chance to talk. Mm -hmm. So they did talk and kind of work out whatever little beef they had because it was, she said, she, and she said it was a big miscommunication. Her people, Nikki's people, yeah. and everybody adding their two cents in. So yeah. they're good. Do okay. you believe? Mm, I really don't care. No, don't care. <laughs> no fucks. Go, Cardi. You know, okay. I, I like Cardi. So. Yeah. So I saw J-Lo was, uh, I want to say, uh, what's the baseball nigga? They, no? Alex. Alex Rodriguez. Yeah. Was he there? I didn't see him. No, no. I just seen J-Lo looking there. bad as fuck. Yeah. Oh, I saw the Olsen twins looking dead as fuck. I didn't see them. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, they look withered. Oh, yeah, Jeff, Jay, yes, have, you, have you seen that, that Zoom Zoom? You remember Mazda Zoom Zoom? And they yeah. have that picture. It's like a ghost face dude. And it's like a row, a windy row behind. It's a very popular picture. Okay. But they look like that dude in that painting. Mm. I wish I knew what the name of that painting was. So the theme was, was, they look was dead. like um, Catholic. Oh. If you didn't yeah, because I saw somebody had a big ass cross on their chest. So if you know, I didn't know that was a theme. Um, Cardi. Yeah, yeah. She very... had like the cardinal with her. Who was this nigga dressed like her? I don't know if 
that was like her assistant or yeah, who he was. He was doing it up. Yeah. Great um, America. Did you see Riri? Rihanna. Oh, no, I didn't. I would she love to. She had the cardinal. The crown? The yeah. Pope? Mm. She was, she looked like the most expensive Pope okay. ever. She did okay. the thing. We love um, us in Riri here on Solange. the Solange. Solange had like She's invited. a late. <laughs> She's done nothing recently. I'm just saying, I mean, like, how does, when you know does her invite, Stop. when because does her I invite wear out? Team Solange. Okay. No, 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 I fuck with her music. I'm just saying, like, isn't it but year by year? No, well, if you have 30K for a ticket, you can go oh. every year. Oh, I thought this was. Uh, it's a fundraiser. Okay. So you okay, buy okay, your okay. ticket and you, oh, yeah. you know. Your sister's young. And she's very fashionable, though. Yeah, she's she very I, edgy. I definitely yeah, fool so with. She was uh, hot. She was uh, really hot. Uh, Solange. Solange. Yeah, I was going to say Young Say Sister. No. Love me some Young Say. Because she had on a do rag and kind of had like the um, um, the Statue of Liberty, like. Mm -hmm. A little crown, crown tiara type shit. But her do rag said on the bottom in like uh, got diamonds or something, God wears a do rag. But she's crazy. <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> he has a natural man. But yeah, so that's it uh, in entertainment. Okay, that's well, all I got. that about wraps us up for uh, entertainment.